Litecoin end of year price prediction. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be looking at Litecoin in detail. So, we'll be looking at Litecoin's short term price prediction and then longer term, guys, I'll be making a price prediction for Litecoin. Also, guys, I'll be looking at what's been going on with litecoin in social media in the news fundamentally i'll be doing a full review for litecoin so hopefully guys you guys will enjoy this video and like i said at the end of the video i'll be doing my litecoin end of year price bid Addiction. so guys uh to start the video i'll actually get a new chart and talk about it from what's been going on with litecoin so as you guys are aware litecoin had a, a parabolic move when cryptocurrency were going crazy back in 2017 it went up you know five thousand eight thousand percent which is ridiculous and once usually parabolic moves can't sustain it you cannot sustain something that went up like this it usually pulls back whichever time frame you look at and as expected it pulled back maybe it pulled back a bit more than some people would have liked but it pulled back a lot i did buy some around 50 dollar level from for longer term uh, position around around this level back in 2018 if you go watch my previous videos since then litecoin kind of unexpectedly broke out and it, this was like another crazy rally and people you know expect uh, to uh, lots of people m missed this move it was a 500 percent move and if you've subscribed to my channel and turned on my notification button some of you would have made some money during this move as well again i'm not saying i get all my calls right but with litecoin halving coming up when it broke out above the 236 level the you know that if you've joined my uh, educational group i've got a full cryptocurrency course explaining how i trade and it's a for a monthly fee you can, it's a really good deal uh, so you could check it out i'll share with exactly what strategies are used and if you go back again this is not an after the call fact if you go watch my litecoin videos from back seven eight months ago you'll see when i made those prediction and i i didn't just buy at twenty dollars and huddled until 130 i sold most of um, most of my 100 and 100 100 level i did buy some when it broke out and sold most of it around the 120 level and I sold a lot at a $50 level as well as it was going up. You can go watch those videos and learn a lot from it. Since that move, uh, as expected, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news event. You can check my Litecoin halving rumors uh, for that video. Uh, not halving rumors, buy the news, sell the news sort of event, Litecoin halving news. And it pulled back a lot since then again it pulled back a bit more than i would have liked and then um, i actually bought some more again around the 50 dollar level and uh, not a lot of people actually share their positions they just go crazy saying i'm going to litecoin's going to 100 dollars xrp is going to three thousand dollars or whatever i'm actually quite honest and share with you my honest price prediction i've actually been trading for over five years so i'd like to think i know what i'm talking about i'm not saying i'll get all of my trades right but there's a high i like to take high probability positions with high win a uh, high risk to reward positions so what is litecoin doing now that is the long-term view of litecoin litecoin is pulling back is pulled back to this 50 dollar level and it had this big bullish week last week uh this big green candle which is really good to see and uh, litecoin has is is up about 30 percent and the 50 dollars that i bought before is actually in profit so i sold some at 60 dollars and again those are big positions this is this is some this is nothing to laugh at you know these trades can help you uh, become profitable over time and longer term profitability is what we aim for it is forming sort of this ending diagonal pattern and again i do not trade this like when it breaks out because there's different ways of drawing them so i like to see it you know break support and resistance level and trade a pullback so that is what i'd be looking to do so longer term guys i would like to think that it will pump from here um, if it comes back to this twenty dollar level, uh, you'd expect to see a, a, see see a pump, and it will be bearish if it comes back to that sort of level. I would like it to maybe bounce from around forty dollar level. I might buy some more around forty dollars and see if it pumps. That, that will be my longer term play. Again, Litecoin longer term. I have got my concerns. Uh, if you guys have followed me for over two years you'll see how i'll talk about litecoin views in a bit when i go get into my fundamental and news analysis bit but that will be another level where i'd be looking to buy if it does pull back a lot uh, from a shorter time frame let's actually show you my chart that i use for trading
so in shorter time frames guys i'm looking to probably buy a pullback it, it is forming sort of this uh, structure again uh, it looks like a consolidation to me and um, i would probably buy a pullback uh, around here uh, around this kind of 55 56 level wait for the rsi to reset again i've got a full rsi mastery video if you've again joined my group you can find out how i trade it I'd be looking to buy maybe around this level, around 54, 55 level for a bounce. If it does break out above this, I'll be waiting for a pullback to my 20 moving average, which is the basic of my strategy with trend change to pull back to my moving average strategy so that is what i will be looking to do in the short term so now that's out the way let's have a look at news before i make my end of year price prediction if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i do these weekly uh, live events on sunday where i actually do live trading and share with you which coins i'm looking to buy so make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button to do not miss it um, i do create a, a event in our free facebook group you can join the group to find out when we are actually doing it and you can request me any questions any coins for me to look at so make sure you do check it out i'll leave all the links below so let's have a look at news so charlie lee if you guys are not aware he's the creator uh, for litecoin and i was a huge fan of litecoin i've told this story many times where you know especially with litepay i was a huge fan of litecoin and with litepay disappointment i was really disappointed with litecoin and with litecoin foundation i've actually again I'm, i've not worked for it i've spoken to a few people who work in litecoin foundation i've helped them out in a couple of events myself i was kind of disappointed not not that they couldn't deliver but how they communicated to us as well since then litecoin again had that you know it's pulled back a lot it rallied hard into the litecoin halving event now the couple of key things that are going on is uh, uh, charlie lee's push for fungibility and mimble wimble those are the two key things that uh, litecoin is looking at and obviously previously as well he's saying he's calling it that's the next battleground for for cryptocurrency for litecoin and bitcoin so those are the two key things that we'll be keeping an eye out for obviously there's a the light litecoin event that that happens that's going ahead as well with litecoin foundation the litecoin summit um that usually pumps a little bit but again i'm not something that uh, that's not something i'm really keeping an eye out for so the two key, key news events that uh, we're looking at is obviously the mimble wimble uh, privacy and um fungibility so that's kind of like uh, what's like is trying to do privacy could affect litecoin being listed on exchanges you know privacy coins people sometimes do not like it so that could be a negative effect for litecoin um with privacy uh, privacy or however you want to pronounce it i kind of stand in the middle i do like to own some private uh, private coins especially monero is a coin that i like but you know some of the countries are against it so that can have an effect on on litecoin if it does go pr uh, private and it's a very risky move so that will be something that i'll be keeping an eye out for public nature of history of the coins makes it so that people can then censor you based on which coin you are spreading and i'd like to see that changed and uh, he's also saying that they could have an option to have a uh, litecoin you know pr private or not so there's a few things that litecoin are looking at so that's something quite interesting for me to to know and i'll be following closely how this news event affects and what can it do it to the price if they can deliver deliver it and it actually works and you know um, one thing that i would like to say is if countries are quite more open to cryptocurrencies then they probably wouldn't like private coins but if countries ban it uh, i think private coins could work um but again it will if the countries ban it, it will be bearish for the whole cryptocurrency it would be good for litecoin btc but probably but not so much litecoin uh, litecoin usd so that's uh, sort of my thoughts on fundamental news i'll keep you guys up to date like i said make sure uh, litecoin I, I make videos on coins that's pumping so you'll see me you you see me making a lot of videos on link xrp trx uh, xrp is a coin that people want me to make videos on that's why i make it if you guys are interested and i get enough views and likes uh, subscribes then i'll make sure to keep you guys up to date with litecoin and if anything big happens i'll surely keep you guys up to date so that's sort of my f new fundamental view on litecoin hopefully that makes sense i mean i could go talk for hours on litecoin i might make another separate video if you're interested in that one thing to keep in mind is since the litecoin halving litecoin mining difficulty is down more than 60 percent um and a lot of probably miners are probably it's not as profitable mining litecoins and the hash rate is down more than 60 percent 
since the coin block uh, halving occurred and obviously that is not a uh, very good news when mining rewards get cut in half some miners will not be profitable they will suffer shut off their they will shut off their machines if a big percentage does that then blocks will slow down for some time so do keep that in mind guys that's a probably a red flag as well so that's my sort of th thoughts on news point of view let's actually do a longer term price prediction now uh, one chart I always look at uh, when I'm trading is not one chart. I always look at both the Litecoin uh, USD chart and Litecoin BTC chart. So uh, before I make the longer term prediction, let's have a look at the BTC charts. So Litecoin BTC is not actually as bullish as some of the other coins. Ethereum BTC is probably better. You can see that it is in a sort of a better structure. It is bounced from above uh, the, the, the bottom zone. It's not formed a double bottom. If it can get above this red zone ethereum would be very bullish i'll make my end of year price predictions for all the major coins over the next few weeks so uh, stay tuned for them but litecoin didn't do that it actually almost broke low it was more of a fake out and it could still be good news if it can so i mean if you're into litecoin you could probably buy some now have your stop loss below if you love litecoin longer term similar to my bat trade again this trade was uh, shared in my group with exact entry and exit signals and i've shared it on youtube i'm not trying to brag you can go check my videos up before and uh, the reason i'm saying it is uh, let's have actually have a look at the example uh, bad BTC broke down below the red zone uh, red level and it popped back above and since then it had a very very big rally so that is something that I will be keeping an eye out for if it does that if you like Litecoin you could buy some with your stop below uh, the red zone that I shared with you here but if you're not as big fan you could wait for it to get above it if it does get above it uh, the two resistance level you'd be looking for is the weekly 20 moving average and the 236 level but they're still quite a bit ahead and you know it can pump a, a lot and when litecoin btc chart is in an uptrend when litecoin usd chart is an uptrend that's when litecoin goes crazy and that is exactly what we saw earlier in the year when litecoin btc chart btc chart was very very bullish when it broke down uh, that is sort of when i was selling my bigger positions in litecoin so what we want to see for bullish scenario in litecoin is it get above this red zone and if it gets above the 236 level and the 20 moving average that could be a very positive news for litecoin and if it does uh, i'll share with you a couple of scenarios i'll share with you what my prediction is but i'll talk about a couple of scenarios uh, you can't just make predictions you know and if anything can happen in the new years you know that some news can come out Litecoin could you know die potentially but anything can happen in the news you know America with stock market crash anything can happen but if the price I'll give you some my prediction and what the price will do which will validate it that is traders we look at high probability scenarios we are not I'm not a, and I'm not saying I'm a predictor I'm not saying I'm an analyst I like to trade and make money hopefully you guys enjoy that as well if not if you're interested in Litecoin hopefully my price prediction and some of the price levels I share with you will help you in 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 your end of um whatever your plans are so one of the key things i look out for is bitcoin if bitcoin stays above this red zone that will be very very bullish for the whole cryptocurrency space and bitcoin is king still although litecoin led the rally it led this rally in cryptocurrency markets in early 2019s if bitcoin can close above this red zone and uh, move above this red zone which is 9300 to 9600 level uh, 700 level 9700 level if it can break above this the 382 fibonacci level and stay above this level then it can be very bullish for litecoin so now those two key parts uh, are out the way let's actually do some predictions so what would be uh, my ideal scenario for litecoin can litecoin get back to the hundred dollar level uh, the key level would be the 236 level if litecoin can hold this level get above 236 level which is around the 70 69 zone then i think litecoin can get up to the 100 level so that will be my prediction I, um, I can't say it will get there my prediction will be if litecoin can break above i mean it, it, it could even be a bit more aggressive and uh, look for the 65 level if it does break it uh, then you could take a trade up to here that will be you know another you know 10 percent trade and if it can get above this level 
then it can get to that hundred dollar level this couple of resistance zone we need to look at the daily 200 moving average uh, we need to stay above the daily 20 moving average but if it can do that guys and what i've said about litecoin btc staying above this red zone then litecoin can have a rally and that will be my sort of prediction if bitcoin cannot stay above this red zone that i've shared with you about 9600 if it's just a fake out and it drops to lows then it could be very bearish for litecoin and uh, litecoin it could be just consolidating here and going down what i don't want litecoin to do is what xrp has done for a while that will be the second scenario if litecoin you know double bottoms and can't break out and trend change if it does goes into a consolidation sort of level then it won't be very good for litecoin guys so that will be my bad scenario if it comes back to this level again around the 50 dollar level then i won't be very interested i've shared with you some shorter term trading ideas and some longer term trading ideas uh, if like i said bitcoin stays above and litecoin gets above these levels then we can be targeting sort of uh, you know 80 to 100 dollar levels and um, it would be great if if litecoin can do that i know there's a lot lot of litecoin fans but those will be the key levels it needs to get above this sort of you know 66 65 level and do that trend change and keep moving higher this couple of resistance zone but if litecoin can do that guys hundred dollar could be within reach so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button it's only two months left in this full live educational course i'm not sure if i'll do this again you might want to check it out for not just the signals i don't want to say it's a signals group it's more of an educational group where people can ask me questions uh, so make sure you uh, check it out as well if you're interested and if not guys all i ask from you is guys if smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button it really put a lot of effort into this video so i'd really appreciate if you can do that to end this video my question to you guys is what is your predictions for litecoin Ta comment below hashtag litecoin and the price you think litecoin will get to so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much